Hello, and welcome to a demonstration of Zoom, the web-based video conferencing and virtual classroom system that allows you to communicate naturally, face-to-face, -face, with two-way video and two-way audio, with up to 100 people who can be in small groups or one at a time, individuals, and can be located anywhere in the world as long as they have a, an internet connection. They can be accessing your Zoom session from just about any type of computer or mobile computing device, smartphone or tablet, as long as it has a camera and a microphone associated with it. You can communicate with these folks about as naturally as you can as if they were sitting in the room with you in many, and in many cases, you can see and hear better than you can in a face-to-face -face situation. Zoom can be used to deliver all sorts of instruction in real time. Uh, the core functionality of Zoom, of course, is a basically a video chat. Think of it as Skype on steroids. You can uh, show your students downstream what your cameras that are attached to your computer are seeing. In this case, we have several cameras attached, though it's more typical to have probably maybe one on me, on the instructor, and maybe one on the audience if you have people in the room live with you. Uh, we can see all of those views. Uh, what you're seeing right now is a view from a camcorder on a tripod set at some distance from the, uh, the table where the Zoom setup is located. This camera could just as easily be pointing at a uh, laboratory experiment in progress or a maintenance uh, operation taking place on a piece of equipment or any kind of type of live action that you might want to share with your students downstream. This camera is just an ordinary camcorder, as we'll see in a moment, that is hooked into the computer through a USB capture device, uh, which looks to the computer like a webcam. And Zoom can handle, we know, at least up to four webcams at a time. We're doing that right now. Um, in addition to this camera, you might have a camera dedicated to, to me, to the instructor. You might have a camera on the audience. And that camera, in this case, is mounted on a small tripod so that we can move it about. And we can see our students. So that the people at the far end can see our students. Hope your students are better than that. Okay. And there, of course, is that camcorder we were talking about. We've also got attached to this system a, an IPVO document camera. Uh, let me go back to the primary camera again. I'll show you that one. Well, here, first off, here's the small webcam mounted on a tripod that can easily be manipulated by the instructor. This, of course, is optional. Here's the IPVO document camera. And what we see through that is something like, let me share my screen for a second. We'll talk about this more in a moment. What we can see through that is, of course, documents, three dim small three-dimensional objects, or a sheet of paper show you what we're going to do with that in a minute. Alrighty. There we are back. And you can do all this through software. It's just a couple of mouse clicks to switch from camera to camera. And anything that the cameras see, the students at the far end will see just about as clearly as we do and almost in real time.
the screen sharing performance or the video performance on Zoom is amazing. And you can, of course, see your, as the instructor, see your students at the other end, perhaps in a so-called speaker view, where you can see the person who's talking to you in, in large screen. Or there's also something called a gallery view, where you can see all of your participants at one time, at least up to 20 or 30 of them. And um, uh, the uh, if you have more than that, you'll get multiple screens of webcams like this. This is assuming, of course, they have webcams and are using them. But this allows you to sweep your class at a, gla at a glance to see things that you would normally only see in a live classroom. Who's getting it? Who's not? Who's confused? Who's bored? Who's asleep? You can tell. You get that you restore that 70% of communication that's nonverbal with your students. An incredible capability, and one that's even better in some ways than uh, looking at your students in a live classroom, because you can see them better in many cases, especially the one hiding in the back trying to sleep. So, um, the minimum kit here is not much. They're a laptop, with at least a, a, di a uh, webcam, maybe a second webcam, a tripod for audience shots. You want your students at the far end to be able to see people who are in the room with you. A, a document camera, optional again. And if your room doesn't have, if you have live attendees and your room doesn't have a sound system, maybe speakers. Um, all of this, absent the computer, can be had for a couple hundred bucks at the outside. And the um, maybe absent the camcorder, which is a little more, but that's the one we're using right now. That's kind of an, an excessive uh, operation. Uh, we set that up primarily to make a point here in the uh, demonstration. But for just a, a minimal investment in money and time, you can set up a, a Zoom classroom anywhere. Indeed, you can take all of this and put it in a bag and uh, put it on a little uh, rolling bag and take it with you. So you can take this classroom with you and use it anywhere you have one power plug and a decent internet connection, either wired or wireless. We've even done Zoom with cellular internet connections, though that can get expensive if you don't have an unlimited data account, which is hard to come by these days. As we've seen, uh, momentarily there, you can not only talk to people and show them things that are seen by cameras, but you can also share your screen. Anything you bring up on your computer can be shared with your students anywhere. And I might add that this works not just with remote computers, but also so with remote uh, portable devices. So if students have phones or tablets, they can see your screen shares on them as well. Uh, we might share, well, let's say, let me go ahead and share my desktop here, which is the easiest thing to do. And I might share um, a document. Say I was teaching a math class. I understand that's one of the things that you're interested in. You might have some information to share with the students in that way. We might share a website. There's navy.mil. Of course, this is in real time. So we can scroll through, we can navigate, and so on. We can do software tutorials this way. There's a video editor. You can show someone how to use a complex piece of software and actually operate the software in real time and the content will go right out. Students will be able to see it as well as you do. And we can even play videos and have the video and audio go out in sync to the students so that they can hear and see what you're seeing in the way of the video. Here's Let's see if we can figure out the product of x minus 4 and x plus 7. And we want to write that. I don't think I want to try that right now. 
but uh, the so you can show movies in class. And finally, one of the coolest things you can do while sharing your screen is to use the IPVO document camera, about 70 bucks on a good day from Amazon, like a whiteboard. If you're teaching math or science, I don't know how you get by without a whiteboard. And all it takes is a piece of paper, felt tip pen. I'm sure I get it right here. And we can simplify that. Subtracting three from both sides. And we can divide both sides by two. And finally, we can take the square root of both sides, which if I remember correctly, is four. So any sort of whiteboard activity that you might normally do with your students can be uh, sent out across the wire using Zoom. Indeed, if you have people in the classroom with you, you can, of course, share all this with them as well using a local projector. Uh, I've got a little one here I can show you. Let me get back to the uh, little uh, Pico projector. You might want something a little bit more, uh, a little bit brighter, but this one works reasonably well and you can carry it in your pocket. Let me show you that a little more clearly there. There he is. So, you can not only communicate with your students in the classroom, but also with your students at a distance, and they can talk back and forth between one another. The webcam here has a very nice microphone in it that will pick up, as long as people speak up and there's not a lot of background noise, it'll pick up uh, from 15 to 20 feet away. If you want to do this in a much larger classroom or a lecture hall or something like that, you're going to have to invest in a more robust audience audio solution, and those can cost money. But for small classrooms or conference rooms, it's very easy to combine a live class and a remote class and have them all be able to talk to one another and to you and you to them without a massive expenditure of uh, of time, effort, and money. This little webcam right here costs about $70 on Amazon any day. And again, has that marvelous microphone. A uh, couple other features real quick. We also have a text chat for back channel conversations. If you have multiple monitors on your originating screen, you need to drag this over onto another monitor and keep track of it while you're talking to your students. And perhaps as important as anything else, you can, obviously, since you're seeing this recorded, you can record everything that you do. Everything that the far end students see can be recorded. The recording is uh, created and stored locally so that you maintain control over it, and you can do anything you want with it. Uh, we put this one, obviously, on YouTube for you to see. That's very simple to do. We have tutorials showing how to do all of this, of course. And um, <coughs> even allows you, gives you a leg up on captioning it, because I'm uh, aware, certainly, of the federal and state requirements for captioning. We have them here in California, certainly. And uh, that makes things a lot easier. So. With a minimal investment of money, a little bit of ingenuity, and a Zoom Pro account, which uh, can, uh, if you have to pay for it, will cost you $15 a month for up to 50 atten simultaneous attendees and unlimited meetings, of unlimited length. And just a little practice. The system is exceptionally easy to use both for the instructor and for the students. We almost never have students unable to connect to these sessions, unlike many other video conferencing and virtual classroom tools that we've seen in the past.
So this is inexpensive, effective, and very easy to operate. Good luck and hope you like Zoom.